Right. I've never actually shown anybody this before, but it's a quick introduction to a schema plugin that we've um, been developing for a few years. It's been a bit of a side project. Um, reason for its existence is I just couldn't find something that did what I wanted it to. Now, keep in mind this isn't perfect. <clears throat> you do need a relatively decent understanding of uh, a schema and what to uh, put in which fields, but it does produce a very rich layer of data and I'll, uh, I'll just give you a bit of an introduction. Um, so initially I, I started off um, hand coding. Um, we then moved over to um, something which was uh, called uh, WordLift, um, which um, was my introduction to a semantic schema um, where you would uh, define nodes um, within the about section of a, a web page um, schema uh, points and uh, you could uh, reference um, people, places, objects and things, entities um, with the same as that attribute. Um, so if I just uh, pull up the structured data testing tool here, and just click on this. So um, what I'll do, I'll just, um, I'll just pick a victim. So um, if I uh, do a search here for ISO 27001. <clears throat> so here we are. Now it looks like it's um, hovering around about where are we? Position five at the moment. Just wait for uh, all of my add-ons to stop loading so it stops jumping around. You can see the um, FAQ schema here that's um, sitting within Google's index. Um, so if I grab this, and uh, I come down, you'll notice the collapsible FAQ panels. So I'll just run this through the structured data testing tool so you can see what the output looks like. Here we are. Okay, so that's the um, the output. So we have web page. <clears throat> just walk through it. Um, usual um, good fun stuff. You'll notice I haven't then set the authorship at the moment, which I do need to do at some point. Uh, the functionality does exist. Um, but uh, trying to um, convince people to, uh, to use their own profiles um, for authorship is like uh, well, trying to pull a tooth out of a dead horse. Um, you would think it was easy, but it's um, not, the most, uh, not the most pleasant of jobs. Um, you'll notice we have um, publisher, nested organization, um, alternative names, uh, additional types, uh, which link into product ontology, same as attributes, brand, more additional types, contact points, good fun stuff. Areas served is uh, UK. Probably need to change that actually to um, go beyond uh, the UK because this is now worldwide. Uh, we've got the logo, we've got the uh, the address. Um, good fun times here. Organizational, more of the same. <clears throat> Header, local business. Okay, well, does, doesn't really need a huge explanation. Um, that's just the uh, the navigation. Um, this is the website schema. Um, here we are. Again, very, very similar stuff. Geo coordinates, uh, founding location, um, you can even put the founder name in. Let's keep going back. Um, and of course, then you have the FAQ schema. Now, if I um, jump over to this one here, which is Prohibition, I'll just um, pop them into the, uh, in, in, into the tool. So just uh, run a quick test there. This gets, uh, oops, this gets uh, kind of interesting because on this one, we've actually, uh, it's similar, it's using a, a more out of date version of the plugin, um, but it does actually um, pull in semantic schema. So what you'll notice if we look at web page, um, you have about schema here, um, and that's defining alternative names. And this is actually um, pulled in from, uh, from DBpedia, um, <clears throat> uh, imported using a, a Python script. Um, and um, here, description, disambiguating description, same as attributes, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And as we continue to come down, um, in addition to this, keep rolling through, um, we should have, in theory, mentions. Um, I believe if I recall, I set this up. It turns to names again. Yeah, there we go, mentions. Um, so differences between um, an about or a mention. Um, so mention is just something mentioned on the page, uh, still uses the same as attribute, whereas um, about schema actually defines uh, an internal vocabulary within the site. Um, moving swiftly um, backwards on this as well. So I'll just come back up to the top and skip out of that. We also have creative works. So again, another type of citation. Um, you can actually reference uh, two URLs within this. Um, so if I um, just pop in here, I'll just show you what it looks like. It's powered using uh, Advanced Custom Filter Pro. And uh, if I um, 
um, pull this up, we've, uh, we've actually, this is what the, uh, the plugin looks like here. You'll see there's quite a lot in there. Um, the reviews plugin is part of it. The table of contents plugin is part of it. Um, breadcrumbs are part of it. And uh, if, I, uh, if I just jump into this, so um, this is how the FAQ works. Obviously, just custom post types. You, uh, you have categories and slugs. And um, if I, uh, <clears throat> um, what this will do, this will actually form part of a short code. Um, the FAQs themselves are here again. You can uh, use the FAQ ID to form a short code. And um, I've got the, uh, the way short codes are formed um, tucked in with the settings. Um, probably should move those into the actual uh, the actual post type itself, but uh, just haven't got around to it. So there you would put the ID in, or if you were doing a, a dropping a, a short code for a category in, you would populate it there. Um, authorship, okay, so yep, obviously you can set authors up. Um, if, I, um, if I edit uh, an author here, we'll just pick Julia for a second. Uh, you can see um, the various fields that you can populate, um, but uh, I'll just jump into basic here. So these are the kind of core schema types, local business, organization, publisher, website, location, and brand. And uh, if I just edit any of these, so website, for example, again, you'll just see it's just fields that need to be populated with um, appropriate information. Um, and that's um, what the plugin then uses to, uh, to then populate the uh, structured markup. <clears throat> um, we, um, I've shown you the, uh, the FAQ, Q&A pages. Um, I don't really use these a huge amount, but they, they do work. Um, entities. So this is, um, if I wanted to, um, probably better to look on Prohibition uh, to, uh, to check those. So this is where you would actually add the individual entities in. Um, so if I uh, edit one of these, yeah, it's just literally what it is, whether it's a thing, a place, a person, um, alternative names, IDs, description, disambiguating description, and the same as attributes. Um, if I take an individual page here, for example, so let's um, pick a victim like, uh, I don't know, B2B influencer marketing here, um, edit the page. What you'll notice is um, just here, um, you can then tag the indiv individual pages with the entities themselves. Now, we originally started building this with ACF, but um, whilst it still uses advanced custom fields, we found as we started loading the site up with more of these, it slowed it down. So we've now converted it to um, a text file based caching system, um, very similar to static HTML caching, where it generates the schema and then pulls it directly into the page using the text file um, to try and reduce some of the burden on the server. So skipping back over here. Um, yeah, mentions. So you saw what those are. It's um, just like the entity, but you don't define an internal point, additional type. So just exactly the same if you want to add those, they, those can be added. Genre, well, that um, just tells you what type of uh, site it is. It's almost like a Wikipedia category. Again, it's not being used here, but it's um, most likely been used actually within Prohibition. So if I just click there, yeah, public relations, for example. So, so it's very, very simply just a, a name with a set of keywords. Um, founders, if you want to add, um, add a founder to a company, you can. Um, creative works, you've um, seen these, so if I just edit that, um, you have the ability to actually uh, put more than a single URL into here, so you can tag um, internal URLs as, as well as standard data points. Um, keep, um, keep them all in three here as we go. Um, we also have topic clusters. Um, so this is just, um, it's not really schema, but it provides uh, an internal markup. And you'll see there, I've actually added the short code. Um, so you don't have to go to settings to look it up. If I edit one of these, uh, like video marketing, um, it just provides a grid of links. Um, I believe I've actually got one um, on the main site here that we're um, just playing with. So it's uh, under the uh, business case builder, which uh, of course I'm not going to find immediately, so I'll just go and grab it through the sitemap. There we go. Here, for example, that's what a topic cluster looks like. It's just a grid of links. And we find that works quite well to, uh, to power things up nicely. There's also a, uh, a next and previous function if you want to do that. <clears throat> Moving on, as we, uh, as we continue to, uh, to explore this, um, so we'll just go back onto the root section. Um, as well as FAQ, we've um, implemented how-to schema. Um, just got an example of it here. Um, again, just a set of custom fields. I haven't populated this properly. We've just tested it, marked it up, but uh, it does. Um, there is service schema, so you can define the country, uh, the service city, 
uh, the service state. Um, so that works quite well for local. Um, unstructured markup just injects HTML um, into almost a slider marquee. That's uh, something I'll talk about another time. Um, but um, that's uh, specifically used for entity stuffing. Um, <clears throat> Google seems to love tables. Um, if I want to, I can add a table in. Um, so table caption here. Um, I can uh, I can add a row. Um, I could, if I want to, uh, add another column there. And uh, I can populate it with text. So that, uh, again, has individual styling. And um, you might also notice uh, I can override the ID of particular pages, and I can turn the H1 tag on a page into a link. Um, let's, keep, uh, let's keep moving through. Um, static blocks. Well, the static block plugin hadn't been updated in a long, long time. Um, so we just uh, write our own, put it into here. Um, one of the rather interesting things with this is um, if I just um, pop in here, I can change the static block to um, sorry static block to a block quote, and uh, I can add semantic markup for a site URL, and um, likewise I can uh, I, I can link out um, from that site URL um, and provide a link to um, say the author if uh, I have an author page. Um, that's uh, quite a, uh, quite a useful feature, um, and um, helps really helps uh, passing page rank around if you know what you're doing with it. Uh, this is the um, plugin itself. You can turn things on and turn things off. So yes, we have product schema. We have um, advanced local schema, which allows you to define local schema on a per page basis. Um, you'll notice it has breadcrumb schema, author schema, um, and it can rename the website URL. Uh, color settings. Um, so yeah, the FAQ color, the unstructured markup color. So you can customize it. Um, and uh, you can also manage uh, CSS if you want to, to change the way the CSS works. As I say, this isn't really for the faint of heart. You do need to know what you're doing with it. Um, it's not publicly available. Um, it isn't perfect. There are some things that work to it. It doesn't work with every single theme. Um, image schema, video schema. Um, yeah, it, it's um, it's been um, an interesting journey putting this together. Um, but uh, I'm interested to hear if um, this is something that would interest uh, people. Um, if it's something anybody would like to, uh, to take for a test drive or a spin. I've not really thought about marketing it before, but seeing that there's quite a bit of interest in um, structured data solutions. Um, yeah, I'm open to suggestions.